The Aaron Judge sweepstakes is almost to its conclusion, or is it at the beginning? John Morosi recently stated this. So offer was made, but the report is that there is an offer on the table in the neighborhood of $300 million in the neighborhood of eight years. Now, at face value, the AAV here for Judge puts him as the highest paid player in the sport, about $2 million a year more than Mike Trout. Um, it seems to be that this is a, a starting point of sorts. We're not sure about every little kind of discussion along the way. Now, this is where things get really, really interesting. See, Aaron Judge, of course, has had an amazing, tremendous 2022 season. I'm a Yankee fan at heart. Everyone knows I'm a Yankee fan. Maybe not. If you're new here, hey, my name's Joe. I'm a Yankee fan. Aaron Judge is a person that whoever gets him in free agency is gonna want to keep him for a very long time. He broke the American League home run record, 62 home runs. That's amazing. That's something no one has done since who would have guessed? Roger Maris. Aaron Judge is coming off an amazing MVP season and what's not more to like? The dude literally had 10.6 war this season and it's probably going to keep going up from there. I mean, I'm sure Judge might have a little bit of fallback next year, but he's still going to perform at that max efficiency. This is Judge at one of his best peaks of his life. Hit pretty much his peak so far. He had 62 home runs, 131 RBIs. I think he tied RBI totals with polar bear pete if you look at aaron judd's accolades there's no surprise that he is going to be making that 300 mil per eight seasons now that is a ballpark number like they said but i think aaron judge might make a little bit more maybe an extra 10 mil or 20 mil on top of that eight years but you know what you're getting when you're getting aaron judge he's going to perform he's going to be your icon of your franchise and i think the yankees really need to sign him up soon maybe in winter meetings apparently that's when everything's gonna go crazy soon when winter meetings come i'm sure aaron judge will be one of the names to be signed and let's say if the yankees never re-signed aaron judge i think a great fit would be the san francisco giants i mean you have aaron judge you have jock peterson to say the least you'd probably take up the number two spot aaron judge um and i think them two together jock peterson and aaron judge would be a monster house of a team let alone some of the people that are probably coming back from injuries I think San Francisco would be good. I mean, it would create another icon in the city and it would bring more attraction for fans. Now, the one I'm very, very interested in is the Dodgers. See, the Dodgers already have this amazing lineup, as we know. Unfortunately, they built a super team, kind of like the Miami Big Three. They had Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, they had Trey Turner, they had a bunch of names, they had Belly, they had just an immense amount of talent on their roster but they fell short and didn't even make the World Series. We know that the Phillies kind of upset everyone and did their thing. They did a, they did their Red October and did it work out? Nah, but it's okay. I think if the Dodgers signed Aaron Judge, they would be at such a high level of talent that if they don't win a World Series, they have to blow up their team. To be honest, if they do not even make the World Series with that amount of talent, I swear the Dodgers are going to blow up their team. They're going to sell for prospects and it's a done deal. They are going for the all out Warriors super team if they sign Aaron Judge. And I think that would be really interesting because you would have a literal all star roster of players. Now, would I want that personally? No, I want Aaron Judge to resign with the Yankees. But that's because I'm biased. I think it'd be interesting just to see Mookie Betts, Freddie Freeman, Will Smith, Max Muncie, Justin Turner, Chris Taylor, Gavin Lux, Trace Thompson, and Aaron Judge all on that lineup. You'd probably slide maybe like uh, Trace Thompson to left field, have Aaron Judge play center, and Mookie Betts on right field. I think that'd be fine. I know Judge wants to play right, but hey, who knows? That would be really interesting. But I still do think Aaron Judge should resign as a Yankee for life. That man is an icon. He is a captain, to say the least. Everyone loves him in the clubhouse. I mean, I love him as a Yankees fan. I think he would be the perfect fit for the Yankees, but if the Yankees do not win the sweepstakes, I think whatever team gets Aaron Judge will have a great season next year or will even maybe benefit more from him being there. You're going to get a lot more fans. You're going to make a lot more money. So is his contract 300 mil for eight years probably worth it? Yeah, I think honestly he'll make even more depending on what team picks him up. I think Aaron Judge should re-sign wherever he thinks he's getting the most money. He took that bet on himself. He had an MVP season. He broke the home run record and he pretty much just turned into a legend at that point. 10.6 war on the season. I think next season he's probably going to go for 11. If not, he'll probably land around maybe 8. If if that's like his least performing season, probably 8. If injuries do not happen, I think Aaron Judge might even repeat. We'll see. Is he at his peak or is he not? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What team do you think will actually sign Aaron Judge or what team do you want to sign Aaron Judge? Let me know.